this is tall enough. Or maybe I should, good. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Abby Pearson and I'm a poet from UNO. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been up here. Um, and this is my poem titled, Facts About the Expansion of the Universe. The expanding universe theory posits that galaxies are moving away from each other at an increasing rate, picking up speed the further they get away from each other, unbound by space and time. I'm thinking about that tweet you made in February, where you said you were once in love with me and I was the butt of your joke. In high school, you were obsessed with the moon and the stars, and I must have loved you the most in astronomy class, because I remember the back of your neck so clearly, a signed seat across from mine. Your hands were, were soft and pale, nails polished and chipped, you had red hair, autumn leaves framing a chopped bob and blue eyes in the sunlight, I still Feel bad about the time I fell asleep on top of you on that long bus ride and got drool in your hair. Do you remember that? <laughs> Something funny about the expansion of the universe is that the universe doesn't expand into anything because there is nothing out there for space to grow into and I wonder if the last five years have found their place in the narrative in your head or if they've cosmically stretched themselves thin in every direction like the universe does. When I write about you, my body sinks into my bed like I've spent 20 years underwater and my mind's eye spins on a flat plate. I recall you kissed me on New Year's once before I was sick with mono. The universe greedily stretches space in order to expand as though it's some malleable, taffy-like thing. Eventually, any galaxies within distance of communicating will become unreachable, whether we've conquered intergalactic travel or not by virtue of the space between us multiplying by itself. I don't think I've healed enough to lend you an apology, not because you don't deserve one, but because I fear the acidic debris that comes with a peculiar velocity snapping out of the status quo when we get too close. I can't help but fear the attractive force of your gravity burning me up on the inside, and if I could detach myself from it all and stop time, if I could float aimlessly towards you, I would. And how I wish the, ma the maturation of time could flow in reverse all the way back to when the matter of the universe was once concentrated in one place before the advent of everything we know. We'd stand on the flat surface of the universe as stars fell, like glitter inside a shaken snow globe. We'd watch as the sins of our mothers die out beneath us, and I'd tell you, it wasn't your fault, but I'm sorry that I felt the same way. <laughs>